Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Because a vision softly creeping left its seeds while I was sleeping. So let me give you a little bit of a demonstration of Blizzard's general balancing process before we get into this. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating just a little bit, but this is an interesting phenomenon for me, this nerf, because it's a nerf not because something is numerically or mechanically too strong, it's primarily a nerf because of player perception, and that is a curious thing to balance around. I think it's something worth talking about, especially in the context of such a divisive move that is the hook. So, to begin with, this is the new Roadhog hook. When you connect with someone with the hook, if you cannot draw a line between them and Roadhog, they won't get hooked. If when it is time to yank the chain and reel them in, you can't draw a line between them and Roadhog, you will not get hooked. However, now everyone very reliably gets deposited very nicely close in front of Roadhog, allowing you to one-shot people like Reaper, May, Anna that you couldn't before. You can also nearly one-shot Zarya, an occasion you can. You can also do some fun shenanigans involving hooking people, spinning round and depositing them off edges, though I have a sneaking suspicion this might be uh, removed. So what has happened effectively is it's much harder to land a hook, but you are basically fucked if you do get hooked. And this I can see as an actual admirable goal for Blizzard here, because it lets people think, ah, I got hooked, but at least because of these changes, I know that that really was a genuine hook. All right, I died. Because the thing is, the counterplay for a hook is don't get hooked. It's not deal with it once you're on the hook, like I see a lot of people seem to complain and focus on the, oh, I'm hooked, so I'm screwed. Well, obviously you're screwed at that point. That's like saying, oh, Widowmaker shot me in the head, so I'm screwed. What the hell? I don't get to do anything about it. So I don't think that's really a valid concern. What is a valid concern for people is seemingly bullshit hooks. Hooks where you are convinced that either A, on your screen, you weren't anywhere in range of the hook, or you were behind cover, but it still grabbed you, that kind of deal. Or the kind of hooks where you get the kill cam of Roadhog and seeing your hook phasing through walls as it drags you to your death. And while we're talking about phasing through walls, if we have a look at this little handy amazing paint drawing I did, I think the actual displaying of the hook is a big thing that's contributed to it being so hated. These two scenarios are identical. They have both occurred because somebody got hooked and then got into cover before the pull started. If it reacted like an actual chain, it would bend round the corner and then reel them in back round and you'd see the chain flowing around the corner. Whereas because it's a game, the hook just phases through the wall and that makes somebody go, hang on, that's a bit bullshit. So I think that is definitely an interesting contributing factor. And I think it's interesting to note that how something is displayed in a game is a real big factor on how it actually interacts with a player's psyche while dealing with it, because the exact same result displayed two different ways, one is a, oh, okay, and the other is a, that's bullshit. So it's an interesting thing to think about when presenting a game. And honestly, I think one of the biggest reasons that people hate the hook so much is because people don't necessarily understand it fully. The way it's presented, the way it's shown, the way it's explained to them, does actually make it seem a lot more bullshit than it is, because from the Roadhog's perspective, 99 out of 100 times, it looks completely fine and works like a hook should, but from your perspective, it does admittedly look seriously? And that's a difficult thing to fix, but I do think this update is definitely going a long way towards that, if just a little bit overkill. But the chief real reason that I think this is a very interesting nerf to happen 
is because, as I said, it is very much born of player perception. And I'll tell you if I like the changes, I've played Roadhog a lot, I've mained him for over a year, so I've given him a good go on the PTO of the new changes, and I'll go over how I feel about them in a bit, but first, let's discuss this. So, I think we can all agree, if you are being objective and not letting your hate fuel you, that Roadhog is not an inherently overpowered character. You know, numerically, he is sound. Mechanically, he is sound. He has a lot of drawbacks. He's not an unstoppable killing machine. He's got loads of unarmored health that lets the enemy just charge ultis off him, and we know how important having more ultis than your opponent is in Overwatch. We uh, can see that his gun is hilariously inaccurate at most ranges. He only gets four shots before reloading, that is really, really crippling. His ulti is generally regarded as subpar in most situations. Roadhog's strength is his niche. I'ma deny the flanker, I'ma pick off a key target, I'ma shut down somebody who's Ana boosted. His precision area control that makes the opponents think about where they are in relation to Roadhog, and that is achieved via his hook. That is where his strength comes from, because Roadhog never used to be meta, he used to be regarded as a bad hero, and this is one of the curious things for me. Roadhog's not been buffed, he's never really been buffed, he's always been as good as Roadhog has been, but only recently are people using him, and thus people are getting mad at him. The meta has shifted to allow him to be used, he's not just suddenly become mega strong, so clearly he's not overpowered, or he would have been used months ago if he was just numerically stronger than other heroes, so I think that's an important thing to remember. He certainly isn't pre-nerf Genji ulti, where entire team comps were built around shutting down the enemy Genji and supporting yours. So that's one thing to note. So what Roadhog does is creates a sort of negative feedback loop that really preys badly on a part of human psychology. You get hooked, and you think, Ah, fuck, I got hooked, and there's nothing I could have done. Ah, he reeled me in and one-shot me, and there's nothing I could have done. Ah, oh, why is he allowed to do that? That's what generally goes through people's minds when they get hooked. And then they see the kill replay and see the hook bending through walls, round corners, and hooking them when the hog can't even see them, and it gets intensified. See, humans are kind of depressive by nature because we have a huge negative selection bias. If you get hooked 10 times, one of them is a hilarious bullshit hook, which by the way, do happen. As a Roadhog player through and through, there are some hooks that you do not deserve that you just collect your guilt-ridden free kill and move on. But you will get one of those bullshit hooks every 10. But the player that received it, they forget about the nine okay fair enough hooks because they're okay fair enough. They fade. The one bullshit hook remains and it stands out in a player's mind, and that continues. And let me just say, as someone with so much time on Roadhog, his new hook is so much better because it deposits people reliably in front of you. Before, people ended up all over the place, Genji's on your head, Anna's to the side of you, and it's just frustrating. I can assure you guys that for every hook that you had happened to you that you felt was bullshit, the hog player has had five more that he got denied for the kill because the hook decided to deposit the victim on the fucking moon. It really is ridiculous. So, I do like that overall this change is bringing stability. So now you've got this meta hero that is constantly giving people this negative feedback loop, so people don't like it. They call it overpowered, they call it broken, because nobody likes getting hooked. It is a annoying ability to balance. It's always going to leave some people feeling sour. It's just the nature of how a move like that works. And then, what happens? Blizzard goes, loads of players are really unhappy at this move. We don't think it's statistically too strong, we've looked at the numbers, but loads of players don't like being hooked. Okay, let's nerf the hook, because the number of people that don't like being hooked is way greater than the number of hookers in the game. <laughs> 
which means that it's a smart business decision for the continued sustained population of the game, and that's why it has been changed how it is. They have now made it a lot more formulaic in how it works, and while I think that it's a little bit too punishing for the hog, I feel like if you are in line of sight of the hog when the hook connects with you, you should get pulled, because it just bugs me from a physics standpoint. The hook is a giant metal claw that has now impaled your character, and you are now being dragged backwards by a walking pig hulk. You are not suddenly getting that removed out of you before you meet your doom. If that has impaled you and you go round a corner, it's still impaled you and you are still getting yanked back. It's, you know, that's how it fucking works. And if they are insistent on keeping the second check that will detach it if you're not in line of sight of Hog when he pulls the chain, at least have it do a lot more damage at that point to represent the massive spike that has been ripped out of you. There and is causing presumably massive amounts of bleeding, you know? I agree that times where you abuse the massive hitbox on the hook to hook someone you know is there but can't see, like hooking someone on a ledge, shouldn't be a thing, because while a hook and chain would work like that, you'd throw it up and then it would fall down and snag somebody, from a gameplay standpoint, it's just frustrating and feels a little bit unfair, because you have no idea the hog's about to try and do that. But I feel like if the hog can see you, and you can see the hog and you get hooked, then you should get hooked. But to compensate for that, I feel like the hook should have a much smaller hitbox, maybe even the size of the actual hook itself, so that a player knows when you get hooked, you really have got hooked and it was well played by the hog. Because at the moment, it is hilariously easy to hook someone, and I think that creates a big part of the problem. Not only are you getting insta-gibbed, there's very much the culture of it's kind of easy to pull off. And you do see some sick hooks, but for the most part, you're good to just start tossing and then you'll eventually get somewhere if you play rope throwing the hook. <laughs> what is today? What is today? Ah, oh, so I think Blizzard are on the right track here because they're trying to re-engineer the community perspective of the hook to one of it is a fair move so if you get hooked please accept it and that's the right goal to take i do think they've gone a little bit too far i don't think it should detach if they got hooked while in your line of sight but that just creates problems where latency causes two people seeing two different things and just creates more of the frustration. So, I have played New Hog a lot, and he honestly, in a lot of situations, feels actually better. He is a much better brawler now. He's a much better open field fighter, because if you hook someone that isn't obviously a tank, they are dying, and you can rely on that, and you can aggressively use it, and that is great. He is, however, now kind of terrible when it comes to poking and trying to make an opening in the enemy team, like the gates at Hanamura, because you will constantly get your hook detached because of how people move and operate on that map. So it really is a Roadhog has got a lot stronger in area A while getting a lot weaker in area B, overall resulting in a different but just as strong character that I still think is definitely worth playing for just how good of a fighter that he is is. So that's really my take on Roadhog and the changes happening to him, and I think it is a curious one. Do you guys think that people should get nerfed or buffed based on player perspective and not an actual number imbalance? Should somebody get nerfed based on perceived overpoweredness as opposed to actual statistical overpoweredness. I think it's a curious discussion, and I think it's one that's definitely worth having, but I don't think it's the end of the line for Hog, pun intended, of course, and I think he'll still have a place. I'll certainly still be playing my cuddle piggy at any rate. Like if you enjoyed this, everyone, and subscribe for more. I will see you next time. Goodbye.